Hello and welcome to the Christmas Everyday Club. I'm Jay and in today's video slash podcast, we are looking at Paul Green's Christmas movies. Now you're probably thinking, it's not Christmas. But like I said before in the one of the previous videos, we are going to do this every day or throughout the year at least. And we're going to do as many actors and actresses as we can, as well as bring you other Christmas like lists like your top 10 and your top five etc guys you know the gist it's christmas every day club after all so let's get into today's video it's a complete list of paul green christmas movies he has been in a total of nine christmas specials you can find them below sorted by premier day as well as by the tv ratings and if you if i've watched the movie i'll also include my own but i'll do that after it guys because some of them i might like say it's my favourite, and then I might read another one in. That might be my favourite. So let's get into it anyway. Christmas Detour. Two New York City-bound travellers find themselves in inextricably linked when a snowstorm reroutes them to an airport hotel in Buffalo. Ever the eternal optimist and hopeless romantic, Paige desperately needs to find a way back home to meet her fiancé's parents before her forthcoming wedding. And it's somehow up to fellow passenger Dylan McKenzie, who is permanently soared on, on romance following a recent heartbreak. Yet Dylan somehow rises to the occasion to become Paige's chival. I can't say the word, guys. Help me. The pair are joined on this mini adventure by an older couple named Frank and Maxine trying to get to, connect to Connecticut. As the madcap journey ensures, our foursome will find plenty of surprises in store. Good movie, guys. I enjoyed this one. I only recently, I know it's, I'm not sure how old it is, but I only recently watched it um, this this last this Christmas just gone, yeah? Next up, Angel of Christmas. After she finally gets the chance to pen her very first article, an aspiring newspaper writer digs into her family history to find the perfect Christmas story. Next up, A Wish for Christmas. Sarah Shaw is the type of woman who prefers to sit on the sidelines at work, but when her big idea of Christmas initiative is stolen, she makes a wish to Santa that she'll finally have the courage to stand up for herself. Santa grants her wish, but only... Sorry, guys, my son was uh, taking, taking his washing out. Yeah, so Santa grants her a wish, but only gives her 48 hours. As the clock ticks, Sarah will discover how to channel, how to channel the Christmas magic and speak her mind all on her own. Not sure if I've seen that one. Christmas in Angel Fall. Angel Gabriel, Gabby, gets a special assignment and is dispatched to the town of Angel Falls. The town has lost its Christmas spirit and Gabby is charged with the task of helping the residents recapture it. Along the way, she befriends Jack Avery, the volunteer fire chief, who, initially sceptical about her plan to revive the local Yuletide cheer, determined. Gabby takes a job at the local church as a volunteer coordinator and sets about her business of recruiting residents to get the town's holiday back on track. In the process of bringing back beloved Angel Falls Christmas traditions, Gabby has a surprising rel revelation about herself and her own dreams that set her set her down an unexpected path sounds good next when calls the heart the christmas wishing tree the return of a loved one the renewal of a christmas spirit and hope for a miracle are some lofty christmas wishes but with the help of a wishing tree the town of hope valley discovers that the wishes can be granted in the most unexpected ways next up when calls the heart the greatest Christmas blessing. When a group of orphans become stranded in Hope Valley for Christmas, their caretakers, sisters, who have the mysterious backstory, lead Bill to investigate. Next, Christmas in Evergreen. As the town searches for a rumoured Christmas time capsule, a sceptical writer arrives in Evergreen to get the story of the town's too-good-to-be-true Christmas fever. Next up, another one, guys, When Calls the Heart, home for Christmas. As residents of Hope Valley prepare to celebrate Christmas, intertwined stories explore the emotions and magic that connect them during the holiday season. Now, if you watched our previous video, you will know that he also stars in this 
if you're not if you're not sure who I'm talking about, he is called Kevin McGarry. Yeah, so check out that if you if you like this movie. Next up, Christmas CEO. This is what his newest one, his latest one, what came out this year, 2021. A small toy company CEO gets a once in a lifetime offer to merge with a mega toy company, but will need her is need will need a estranged ex business partner signature to seal the deal. What he helps her rediscover will change both of their lives. Hey, guys, when calls the hearts are good, Christmas in Evergreen are, are great. There's a few of them as well. Um, Paul Green's not in them all, but he's in this one. Um, check them out. I enjoy them all, but my, if I had to pick my favourite out of all these, it would either be Christmas CEO. I really enjoyed that one. Or the Angel Fall one with um, the angel in it. Yeah, cute movie. And that is our list, guys, uh, for best Paul Green Christmas movies. Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you love Christmas, then please subscribe. And that, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching, and as always, bye-bye. Well,